afternoon out here pretty late after work felt like a stress reliever so i've come down the south end just for a quick little quick little vibe here it's about pushing five o'clock now and um yeah i've had a bit of a shocker i've don't have my camera holder i got my gopro holder luckily but don't have my camera holder so i'm running off one camera but mainly came out for a bit of a stress relief so hoping that i'm pick up a couple of fish down here i'm picking up a few fish on the sounder it's good to see a couple of bait schools swimming along i suspect they're taylor but it's beautiful and quiet out here no one's on the water really out here by myself so i haven't fished the south end for a long time i'm up the south end at the moment just launched a wonderland It'll be interesting to see if there's any fish hanging around. Go on here, on the vibe. What have I got here? Oh, Taylor. Hopefully he doesn't make a meal of my vibe. I was hoping for a couple of fish today. If I, can make some, I was hoping to make some Thai fish cakes and Taylor would be the perfect perfect candidate if i can land this guy oh not a bad size tailor he's about 40 centimeters yeah beautiful fish i wish i had the other camera going but oh yeah i left that at home well i lost it actually it's at home somewhere i can't find it anyway because we're going to eat this guy we're going to bleed him and take care of him so there we go so I just cut them at the gills there and break the neck and that way it bleeds out, kills them quickly and um, we'll get him on the ice. Try and get another one. Yeah, I probably want about three. Three that size at least and um, make some fish cakes, be good. I'm just looking at a school of birds in the shallows there. I think there may be a lot of tailor in there, so might go for a chase. See what's going on in there. Yeah, it looks like a lot of birds actually. So we'll go check it out. Straight away, yeah, there's Taylor everywhere around here. I've got one here, doesn't feel real big actually. Oh God, there's Taylor everywhere. Looks like it's just a little nursery of Taylor here, but I should get a vibe underneath them actually. Um, might be able to pick up a big one. I'll get a vibe underneath. Taylor, probably about 30 centimetres. Hopefully there's some bigger guys mixed in with these. Let's see if we can get them on the cask. It looked like there was a lot around. Let's see if I can pick one up here on the cast. Cast and retrieve. Yep, that one. First cast. Oh, I love it when the Taylor are on great fun just need some of those bigger models to get around I've got one for the keep but we want a few more well, that was first cast anyway I was trawling into them and I picked one up there was a few busting up so I thought I'd just stop and have a few casts but oh that feels a bit bigger a bit bigger that one it felt Yeah, a bit bigger, he's about close, he's probably a keeper tailor, he's probably 30 centimetres. I probably should measure him just if I do want to cut, make this fish cake recipe. Really nice way to eat, eat tailor. We'll just have a quick look. 
I haven't measured Taylor for a long time, so. He's 27, so he's not quite big enough. I can see some bigger splashes over here, so let's go check them out. Oh, a bit bigger maybe. Maybe a little bit bigger this one. Yeah, definitely a bit bigger. Where is he? Probably should get the net. I mean, yeah, he's a nice keeper this one. Whoop, there we go. About the same size as that first one. A bit over 40 this one I suppose. But yeah, beautiful eating. These would go beautiful in the fish cakes. I'm planning to make some Thai fish cakes with these guys. And usually they're really silver, these Taylor in this Lake Macquarie. But with this dirty water, you can really see why they call them greenbacks. I'll give you a good look. Look at the green on him. Yeah, wow. Never seen him that colour before. It's golden green, but yeah, that's why they call them greenbacks. Alright, there's two in. Could probably make a little recipe out of that, but I'd like, like I said, I'd like about four to make something decent. Let's see if we can get another decent one here. Oh, yep. <laughs> it's every cast I'm catching one here. Every single cast. It's only a small one. Throw back this one. Oh, there he goes. But yeah, there's bigger ones mixed in. You can get that 60 centimeter models. Just like doing this stuff mixed in with the small ones as well. So you never know what you're going to hook each cast. Well, he only feels like a little one this one probably not a keeper just want that that sun's getting very low they won't be hanging around much longer it's getting very low that sun yeah better hurry up and catch one otherwise it's going to be a small recipe Control quickly. I'll try and pick something up. Well, oh, straight on instantly. Instantly on. Literally had the motor in for motor on forward for about five, not even five seconds. I don't think, and I was on. Oh, he's a panty that one he's a 30 bit over 30 it's good 35 that one so good we got three i can make make something out of that and these fish cakes are good for any stronger flavored fish because there's a lot that goes into the thai fish cakes so it tends to cover up Tends to cover up most smells. All right, I'll cut out while I bleed him. All right, we've really got to head in soon. So I've got three, that's probably enough. Probably caught over 10 easy. on again it's getting ridiculous so i just had it into here this is this is oh did i lose it nah i got him yeah it's getting ridiculous 
must be so thick that it's lit. It can't actually sink down without them nailing it. You just got to locate the school. And once you locate the school, it's pretty much fish after fish. And there's another 30 centimetre tail of that one. Tail over. Another 34, I suppose. Anyway, there's four. That's what I wanted. The sun is well and truly behind the clouds now. What a beautiful... That's a fish dress. That is. That is absolutely stunning. I'll, I'll snap back. Well, if I get another fish on the way home, it's getting a bit dark. I don't think I'll pick one up now, but if I pick one up on the way home, I'll flash back. If not, I'll see you in the kitchen when I get home. And there we have the tailor, all boned out, all skinned. That's one thing you don't want is bones in your fish cakes. I also had a bit of snapper in the freezer there, which I want to make a bit more fish cakes. Because as I said, you can keep these for a long time and keep them in the freezer. Anyway, we'll put that aside. And these are the ingredients you will need. We've got spring onions, coriander, lemongrass, and a little bit of mint, garlic, some chili. You don't you put as much chili as you like in there. And traditional method, they put beans in it. But I've just got some sugar snap peas there. They should go all right. And the main base is red curry paste. Looks fancy, I know, but it's very simple to cook. Once you've got your ingredients, just put it in the blender and mix it all together and away you go. So I've already prepped up the fish, took away the boring part for you. The beans, you actually... Actually, we will add them later after we mix it in the blender. We'll just spoon it into the mixture. And it just adds a bit of contrast to your crispness. Okay, and everything's going to go in the food processor, so it doesn't have to be too, too well chopped. We've got three cloves of garlic there. Give it a rough chop. Food processor will take care of the rest. And I got lemongrass. You can use kaffir lime leaves as well. Lemongrass works as well, but you really want that fine. The food processor will chop it, but you don't want big chunks of lemongrass in your patties, so I chop it fine as well before it goes into the processor. That's probably enough there. Got some spring onions. There we go. Don't mind me, I'm just having a refreshment. And everyone goes on about Taylor being a rubbish fish. But I'll tell you what, you can make lots of lovely meals out of Taylor. This is just one way of cooking them. I've smoked them before in previous episodes. If you haven't seen that, you can have a look at that. Smoke them up, they're beautiful. And I've cooked them in the oven. Lovely too. Here's another way of cooking them. Alright, some fresh coriander. And some mint. Not too much mint, just a nice little pinchful. There you go, and a couple of nice chilies. You just add your chilies to whatever heat you like it. And it's always a good idea before you go add too much. Just have a taste of it. Man, it tastes too hot, so I had a, I think I had these two full chilies to it. And 
that's it. That's the ingredient done. And you just want a th about three teaspoons of red curry paste to go into the mix when we put it in the blender as well. All right, flash back in a sec. Okay, load our fish up. Get it in there. It's gonna make a fair few patties. I'll be able to freeze them, cook them whenever I want, pre-cook them. I'm gonna add a lime to it as well. Get a lime juice in there. All right, now all the ingredients straight in there. Try and actually get them in there. That's the main thing, flying everywhere. Right over, we've got our garlic and chili and coriander and shallots and that in there. Now we're gonna put our red curry paste in there, three teaspoons. Might actually put a bit of pepper in there as well. Just a bit of pepper for seasoning. Oh, forgot the vital ingredient. want one forgot a vital ingredient you want one egg yolk in there just to bind it together there we go right oh we'll give that a mix and that's it you want to give it a good mix it the more it binds together so you want to mix it until you, you can actually make patties out of it it's starting to look pretty good Starting to look really good. You should be able to make some patties out of that nicely. Okay, just have a look at the consistency. Make sure it's spot on. Yeah, and as you can see, it's all sort of binded together and you be pretty much just chucking in the frying pan like that. I'll flash back and when I'm cooking them, but yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of patties out of this and the smell what's coming off this. It's just wonderful, the smell. All right, I might actually give it a little bit. No, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. All right, I'll flash back when I'm cooking. And just the last step before we chuck it in the frying pan, I just got my my beans that I chopped finely there. I'm just gonna chuck them in. And just mix that together. These beans just add a bit of crunch to the patty. And when we serve it, we'll be serving it with some sweet chili sauce. The smell, yeah, the smell's beautiful. 
These are going to be really nice. Right, oh, a flashback when the fly pan's on. All right, we want to get this pretty hot, so I'm going to add vegetable oil. And to get a bit of authentic flavor going, I'm just going to put a few, a few drops of sesame seed oil in there as well. That'll flavor, oh, probably about half a teaspoon actually. That'll flavor this vegetable oil up and it'll give it a more Asian sort of taste. You can already smell it straight away as soon as you add that sesame seed oil. That's a nice, nice flavor to it. Even a few drops will do. I like the flavor, so I added a fair bit in there. But we'll let that heat for a bit and flash back when it's nice and hot. All right, I think that's hot enough. So what do I think I'll do? I think I'll just get my hands involved here. Just make some patties, drop them in. Uh, you can make them as big as you like. I'm just gonna do a little snack ones, I think. And I know this looks fancy, and it goes against my slogan, if it ain't easy, I'm not interested in cooking it. But it literally took five minutes to chop the veggies up, the herbs, if that, a couple of minutes, put them in the blender, and that's it. So, yeah, it's really quick, really easy meal to cook, and it really transforms the tailor into a beautiful meal. Lots of flavour in this. It's got the chilli, garlic, coriander, mint, Lots, lots of flavour in it, and then we'll um, dish this up and serve it with some sweet chilli sauce. And these will be sensational, and what a way to transform a tailor! Everyone goes on that they're no good and this and that, but this is one of the best ways. And so quick and easy. Alright, that's about half the mixture. I'll put the other half in. Fish cakes prepared. Thai fish cakes. I've already eaten one, couldn't help myself. But these are absolutely delightful. They really are. Dip in a bit of sweet chilli. Oh yeah. That is, that is 10 out of 10. And for Taylor, it just turns them into a beautiful meal. It really does. The colours. And that's just fish and herbs, really. One egg yolk to bind it together in the blender. Literally takes 20 minutes from start to finish on the table. Can't beat it. Nice simple meal. Yeah, I reckon I could eat about eight of them. But that was good, four tailor and two fillets of snapper turned into I get eight, 16 fish, fish cakes, so it goes a long way. All right guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing, and I'll see you guys on the water. Catches.